Matt Adams has been placed on the injured reserve, once again leaving us with a 52-man roster and some flexibility going forward. What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears with daily videos. Today we are talking about some injury updates and roster moves. Let's get right into it. Getsy said that Nikhil Harry still has a long way to go before he is ready to rock and roll. Based on those comments and him being a limited participant in practice today, I think it's unlikely he plays much, if at all, on Thursday night. However, having 11 days off after this game gives Getze and company plenty of time to work Kill into this offense, setting up Nikhil's revenge game against the New England Patriots. Also, today's injury report was released. Kill was the only player who was limited today. Dane Crookshank and Jalen Johnson both practiced in full, meaning they both should play on Thursday night. Let's hope we can escape this next game with a clean bill of health and give our guys 11 full days to rest up, getting fully healthy before going against New England. Matt Adams joined Cody Whitehair on the injured reserve and our roster is back down to 52 players again. That spot could go to Alex Leatherwood soon as he should be eligible to return after Thursday's game as well. Nothing major here, but I'm excited for Nikhil Harry to make his debut. I was hoping it would be this week, but that seems doubtful now. Getting Jalen Johnson back should provide a boost to our secondary, and Dane Crookshank could possibly get some more playing time as well. He is an underrated piece of this secondary. Matt Adams going to the IR means we will probably see a bit more of Joe Thomas. I wanted to see Jack Sanborn get a shot at the Sam, but honestly, our Sam linebacker is not on the field much anyway. Last week on defense, Matt Adams played four snaps and Joe Thomas only played three. That's seven total snaps for our Sam linebackers. Our linebackers not named Roquan Smith and Nicholas Morrow play mostly only on special teams. Jack Sanborn led the way with 14 special team snaps, Sterling Weatherford had eight, and Adams and Thomas combined for another 24 special team snaps. So the Sam linebacker in this defense is not used very often, so missing Matt Adams isn't a huge deal, but the Sam in this defense is also the primary backup for the Mike and Will. So if something happens to either Roquan or Morrow, an unproven linebacker would be pushed into significant playing time. That's all for now. Just wanted to do a quick injury update and report on Sam Adams. I dropped a couple videos since Sunday. So check those out. This morning's video in particular, I feel like fans should watch that. Stay tuned. Hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.